bracelets. We have these like amazing gold and silver chunky bracelets. I love wearing silver and gold together. You can get a bunch of really cool ones vintage if you just hunt for them. It's such a statement print, but also very underrated. Hi! It's Big Sis Dev. I have not done a sit down video in so freaking long and I felt like today was the day to just get it done and get something out for you guys. We have a very special video planned that I've been working on and curating for a minute now. We are getting into what we are wearing and feeling this summer, okay? I personally talk about how much I love Pinterest so much for inspiration and how to find my style, how to find my vibe. It's not necessarily all that I use to find my style. I feel like I just kind of like go based off of how I feel, which is a really main part of it. But I feel like I'm a very visual learner and Pinterest does a good job if I'm like in a rut or if I'm just not feeling it, it just helps, you know? I want to also put a disclaimer that I just want to let you know that this is not real life by any means to some people and also to me, honestly, but I feel like it is nice just to like gain a little bit of confidence or to just stay creative. And for me, staying creative just helps me stay positive and like moving. So yes, I'm just going to share a little bit of what we should be wearing this summer. <laughs> so let's get into it. I am going to go with the specific pointers or specific, I wouldn't call it trends because I hate the word trends and I hate following trends, to be honest, I just hate it. But I just feel like little things that I personally admire. Be aware that all of these things can be found like vintage or you can find them on like Etsy or Poshmark. Like nothing needs to be crazily found. Like this bracelet, I'm gonna talk about it in two seconds, but this is from Amazon. So I'll link it below if any of you guys want it. It's actually so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I wanna get a few more colors and just stack it up for my upcoming trip to Europe in the beginning of August. But all right, let's get into it. The first fashion item that I think that we should be wearing this summer are chunky natural like bracelets and jewelry. I am a huge fan of this like chunky kind of like overwhelming jewelry look because I feel like you can just have any plain outfit. Like I'm wearing just a random brandy dress right now and I like tied a red like cardigan and wore like red ballet flats. But I added this, like it's just fun. It's like a nice fun pop to your summer wardrobe. So I feel like that, I just, I just love them. So we have this like blue chunky bracelet. We have these like amazing gold and silver chunky bracelets and I'm obsessed with them. I just love the different textural elements that they provide in an outfit. And even if it's like a casual outfit, like I said, or a more like upscale outfit, it's just playful. It's playful, it's energetic. I just love how these pieces like come together and you can just mix different colors, mix different shapes. Like I specifically love this one with the tortoise and the white bangles. All the chunkiness I need this summer, plain and simple. I'm so obsessed. Next thing that I wanna add is micro shorts. Micro shorts, I feel like I just am obsessed because it's physically so hot that it just makes total sense, you know, to wear. I feel like you can wear micro shorts any w different way. I personally loved wearing micro shorts when it was like springtime and then I had like a nice little button up and I had a leather jacket over with like pumps. Like I love a good pump. It just elongates your legs, like it's just, it's just perfect <laughs> and I don't know I saw these leopard micro shorts that were actually adorable on Pinterest and I'm gonna put them on the screen too but these are so freaking cute yeah micro shorts are just it even with like a jersey I've been loving jerseys in the summer a jersey micro shorts Javianas like I was gonna make Javianas one of my pointers but I was like okay Dev like people just know that you wear Javianas every single second there's nothing to even say about it but yeah micro shorts it's just easy. It's very easy and effortless. Next thing, polka dots. I know this is like overdone, but I still love it. I'm sorry, I just genuinely love polka dots in the summer. It's such a statement print, but also very underrated. I, I love it in a bikini, in a dress, in a set. I know that you guys wanna see more lookbook or like outfit inspo. I've been reading your giveaways and I know it's already done, but trust me, I'm gonna do more. I think I might do more next week because I still have so much to send out. So you can still submit if you really want to. But yeah, I just 
I love polka dots. I love it. I think for the summer, polka dot anything is 10 out of 10. Big, 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 big major one for me. I think this is like my number one out of the whole list is sequin and textural clothing. I specifically love this for summer because I find that it's girly, but still like very interesting. And I think personally for my style, at least I like to keep it very comfortable and chic, but also like very, very interesting. We have this one here, which I love the way she styled it. Cause I, this is exactly the way I would style it too, with like an oversized t-shirt to balance it out. We have like a textured skirt. Another one that I personally have in my closet and I'm waiting to wear it when I go to Europe is this fancy club skirt. I'll put this on the screen, but this is beautiful. Like even in person when I received it, I looked, I was like, I'm never getting rid of this. Like I'm going to pass it down to my daughter. And I just find it so interesting and unique and effortless. We have this other one that's like a metal. I have no idea if it's like a metal skirt or like little shorts with like a metal purse, but I personally love this one as well. And this one too, how it's like double layered. We have like a double layered like Mew Mew situation with like sequin on top and then another different color sequin skirt. Oh, die for that. That's major inspo for Europe. And then this other one with like a big oversized t-shirt with a pink skirt. I just am obsessed. So yeah, I'm obsessed 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 with the sequin and the textural items in your closet another thing we have these fendi baguettes which i actually don't own one but you can get a bunch of really cool ones vintage if you just hunt for them if you want to start and get a really cool piece i know that fancy club's new collection has a lot of 3d elements to it i have another few pieces from them which are so kind to like share some to me and send it to me, but they're really, really beautiful quality and really, really nice 3D kind of element that we're looking for. Next one, very obvious one, capris. I love capris in the summer with a flip flop, with a thong heel, with a like just anything it just elevates any type of look and it makes it so fresh and flirty and fun i just absolutely love capris in the summer we have a very casual kind of look which this is very me i love this it's so cool where it's like capris little varsity t-shirt which i love in the summer and just like a big bag or we have a more kind of like elevated look with a colored capri which i also think is really funky and fun i actually want to own a colored capri i should probably get one at some point <laughs> but love capris in the summer it's just truly it's truly amazing i love them another fun printed funky capri look which i think is cool sorry guys leo is literally trying to roll this ball that's so loud i feel like he knows when i'm filming something because he, he goes for the toy that he never goes for it's crazy in the summer we're wearing a really really beautiful drapey long dress that you have to probably bring it to the dry cleaners the next day but it's worth it you know it's worth it I know I am used has really pretty like drapey dresses again Poshmark amazing drapey dresses real real has some really nice affordable ones you can hunt for them I feel like this whole thing like everything with these summer pieces you just gotta hunt but it's worth it this drapey dress love to die for because it has that mesh element that I also want to include in this little category because I think a mesh in the summer and kind of like open back or like off the shoulder is just so flattering and it's so effortless and I like anything that looks like it's comfortable. Another one that's drapey, this is kind of a similar concept, this like beige drapey kind of concept with like the side open, I think that's really flattering. We have here like a very, we have here, this is from ASOS. I will link this down below. Anything that I find on Pinterest that is linkable, I'll link it down below, but this is really beautiful. This here, another drapey kind of mesh 
see-through moment that I really love. So yeah, I love a meshy dress. I think that it's just, you can even wear it with flip-flops. You can wear it with a heel, but for me, like I like to be very comfortable. So flip-flops just are my thing in the summer because it's just easy. And it's so funny because when I got engaged, I was wearing this like white set that was kind of like drapey, kind of see-through and I had my white Javianas and then when I got engaged I was like there's no effing way I have Javianas right now when I'm getting engaged I literally was like what in the world this is so dev coded it's ridiculous last thing in the fashion category is comfort okay I am all about feeling your best any time of the year and I think that feeling your best has a lot to do with your clothing and your outfits and how you put stuff together and how you stay unique and what you feel best in, in your own skin. And I think that's a really, really important pointer to point out, especially when talking about all these different little things. I really like this kind of undone look and messy look is so cool and fun. I had to show it, like for example, this beautiful kind of undone red dress is so beautiful i don't know how to explain it like the necklace is not really even working they're draping down baggy necklaces i just think that it's so effortless another one that i personally really love is this kind of undone long sleeve that has like one tie but she's wearing a bralette under baggy jeans you can wear flip-flops your hair is probably just like in a clip like something very easy and casual i'm truly just obsessed like i I kid you not, it's just the best. This is another vibe of just being kind of effortless on the go. Just like even a white, like simple dress, but with like ballet flats or flip flops and like, it's so cute. I don't know if I'm explaining all this well, I hope I am. <laughs> oh, a little last little pointer. I love a colorful bag in the summer. This is the city bag. I have this in mint green. Very similar to the Olsen twins type of bag and it's so iconic. So now we're gonna move on to how to curate your style on Pinterest. So I'm going to screen record my screen right now and I'm going to start with my summer board. So as you can see, my summer board is kind of a lot of what we talked about today, but we have here this really beautiful polka dot look that I was mentioning. We have this dress, a lot of the sequin kind of 3D kind of pieces. When you're first starting your board, you wanna kind of figure out what type of direction you like to go. I knew for me, I wanted an effortless, undone, easy kind of vibe to it. And I think that that plays a lot into how you can curate your board. As you can see here, we have like the colored Balenciaga bag, the draping of the dress. We have another draping dress. We have wedges. I love these wedges. I actually have them. I need to wear them more. They're so cute. Wedges I love in the summer. We have the capris, a very casual capri. When you're trying to find more ideas, I like to start a board and then go into the more ideas in the bottom of the screen. And you can just get a bunch more of ideas that like look, like look at these, like these are sick. You could probably find some that are similar, but these thong sandals are really cool. They also give you options for vintage pieces. I think the key with Pinterest is just really finding your niche and your style. A lot of my board now is very, very wedding <laughs> inspired. And actually, if you guys want me to do a wedding inspo video of like what I like or what I'm thinking, let me know. Cause I feel like that would be a really, really fun one. But anyways, I feel like that's the easiest way is to go based off of keywords and then just start a board and then just go to find more options down below. And I think that that is the easiest way to do that. So how to curate your style and vibe is big on your actual vibe. And for me, I personally get a lot of inspo from interior design and from like little things that I just might not necessarily think of. So I'm gonna go through my little tings folder and show you a little bit of small things that I really enjoy to help me curate my own personal style. But I love these Zara print towels, love, like need to get them. Love this little mini case here. 
I'm obsessed obviously with the chunky jewelry. So I have some of this saved here I don't know why this sparks my imagination for my style. I just love the colors and I love the translucent dish I love a messy look. So these messy undone city bags. I love this one of the Miu Miu. What else do we have here? We have these hair clips. This one I love from Dua Lipa. It just gives me a lot of inspo. I don't know why. And we have a lot of purses here. <laughs> SOS, a lot of jewelry. We have these really fun bed sheets that are leopard. Um, I love New York little cup. I just think that's really fun. For interior design, I love looking at interior design because it mentally gives me a nice framing of how I want my jewelry to look, how I want my outfits to look, what type of vibe are we going for? And this here is my future home folder which like future home dev what are you talking about but also plays into manifesting so this one here with the red walls and the gold like love how moody that is i love gold jewelry we have devin's house here i actually really love her living room it's so fun and playful this here which i absolutely love i don't know if you could see this like leopard ottoman with the pink rug i definitely want that in my future home metals i like i said i love wearing silver and gold together so i think that like things like this bar like just gives me inspo on how i want my jewelry to look we have this like bright orange painting i don't know why it gave me like my painting in the back right there i don't know if you could see what else we have this here that i really love this is really fun and playful for summer. And if you guys want another video too further on interior design and kind of my inspo and just like talking more deeply about it, just let me know because I love it. Literally on Pinterest, all I do is look at interior design inspo. To go with how to find your vibe for the summer, we have a few more and then I swear I'm done. I feel like I've been blabbering and I'm like, Deb, what are you even blabbering about? But i love my friends so much i love being social so much and i know i said in like even my last video that sometimes i'm too much in the moment so i'm working on that trust me i am working on that like especially my social settings if i have like two glasses of wine it's crickets like my camera doesn't go out my phone i don't use my phone i'm so present so in the moment but Friends, I think just being with your loved one and your friends, especially like after the last week and what I went through, just reality really kicks in and you just want to make sure that you say that you love your friends all the time, your family, just anyone in your life. It could literally even be like, I know some people that are so close to the delivery people and just like appreciating and acknowledging that's why i always say how grateful i am for you guys because like that's just a main thing that we need to think about and i think that's just that's just the vibe this summer it's just being with your loved ones just sharing special moments and we should all be on that same wave <laughs> next thing is taking time for yourself and self-care i feel like self-care is so important to your mental health, to your physical health. I think your self-care is so important and even finding your style and just loving yourself. So I think that's a main, main thing as well. So showing admiration to your loved ones, to the people around you, but also yourself, I think is really, really important. And I think that's how I've gained a lot of confidence in myself is just really loving myself, even though it's not 100% all the time, at least just taking the effort to make baby steps in doing that is better than nothing and lastly is introverted yet social moody outings i feel like that's a big thing this summer that we're gonna try to implement and we're gonna try to do guys as a group is just having those quality times it, co it goes back to like loving your loved ones and being there for other people but like a movie night or park outings like i love going to central park and walking leo with my fiance or like wine dates like i have a wine date with two of my best girlfriends tonight doing little things like that and having meaningful conversations is the wave this summer and that's what we will be doing i will put down some links that i found on like my pinterest board that i want to include and i hope that you guys like this video i hope it made sense <laughs> I feel like I'm just all over the place and I'm just so excited to talk to you guys But I think that you guys will probably hopefully enjoy it and I cannot wait to talk to you guys very soon And I love you guys so so much make sure to hug your loved ones and just 
send some kind words out and trust me it takes you far so yeah i love you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other fashion content that you guys would want to see from me i am always here for you guys and i love you guys so much